Welcome to another Healthy Indoors Minute. Home Diagnosis is the first ever television series about the science of homes. And as the creators and writers of the show, we take our responsibility seriously. These YouTube videos and that public TV series are the first exposure that many people have to the invisible dynamics of physics, chemistry, and microbiology in their homes. It's our job to educate our audience, not just about the problems of indoor chemistry, physics, and microbiology and how to test for them, but also to point out tried and true safe solutions to make homes healthier and more comfortable. So we'd like to take a minute to talk about air purification, what definitely works and what might be dangerous for your family. Yeah. So first of all, why is air purification a thing that all of us should be thinking about? Well, the parks and playgrounds just opened. And last Saturday, I got to take both of my girls down there for the first time, and we met a new neighbor who have kids the same age. So fun. So later that day, we took them over a new tomato plant, and we got a tour of their home. Of course, we had to see the little girl's bedroom, and when we looked up, I saw an attic hatch. And from that attic hatch were these little icicles of fiberglass insulation coming out. Directly so, over her bed, right? Yeah, directly over her bed. And and there's a fan even in between her bed and the attic hatch. And when I expressed my concern to our new friend, she said, huh, maybe that's why she's coughing. So there are things in your home, as you probably already suspected, that are impacting your family's health. By the way, the number one medical side effect of air pollution isn't respiratory at all. It's cardiovascular. So it looks like hereditary heart disease might actually be contaminated indoor air. Anyway, how to solve this? Right now, in the era of COVID-19, there's a lot of buzz around disinfecting our spaces, especially as we're maybe about to send our kids back into schools. There are chemicals and ionizing air fresheners and ozone generators that you or your neighbors might be thinking of buying. Don't do it. These are purifying products and techniques that have their place, just not in homes. Oh, look, we know from the home chem experiment that the indoors can be astronomically more polluted than the outdoors. But we also know every home is a science experiment in process, and there is no way to predict what any of these chemically reactive substances or machines will do to your experiment. If you look at the sponsor companies that partner with us to make home diagnosis possible, you won't see a single one that makes experimental air cleaners of this type. We don't invite them to participate. What you will find are makers of the healthy kind of air purification, which always and only includes a fan and a filter. Companies like Fantech, Bro Newtone, April Air, Renew Air, Air Cycler, and Santa Fe. Yeah, and other educational organizations that stand with us, like the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation, the Home Ventilating Institute, and the Building Performance Association, and of course, Healthy Indoors Magazine. Use what we know for certain, and what we know we don't know yet. Don't experiment with your indoor chemistry any more than you have to. You can learn more by watching the Home Chem Playlist, and in our upcoming second season of Home Diagnosis, and by subscribing to Healthy Indoors Magazine. Stay healthy, stay safe, and tune in next time. Now we're gonna go help our neighbor.